the C4 sedan is Scroyop's next attempt to create a strong rear in the domestic market. The attempt was rather unsuccessful, they did not take a sedan in a taxi and it did not become massive. Let's try to figure out why. The roots of the C4 sedan go back to 2004, when the Xara model was replaced by the European versions of the 5-door and 3-door C4 hatchbacks, the latter was called the word coupe by the manufacturer. Our sedan, although it inherited many of their features, positive and not so, but still allows you to call yourself a separate model. Motors and base from European versions differ in many ways. In 2016, a restyled car appeared, it got rid of many troubles. The French replaced the automatic transmission, worked on the reliability of engines and suspension. A number of ailments associated with electrical failures were cured. The three-door and five-door C4 hatchbacks have been on sale in Russia since 2004. During this time, the relationship with the car, many of its owners have developed, to put it mildly, very different. For its traditional exclusivity, Sitgoin took a serious toll in the form of many problems during operation. Therefore, the French made a serious bet on a constructively somewhat different new generation, including the C4 sedan, which began to be assembled in Kaluga in 2013. The car was seriously prepared for difficult Russian conditions, especially since in China, where the sedan has been successfully sold since 2011, the model performed well. But in the end, the French could not convert the popularity of sedans in the domestic market into hundreds of thousands of buyers. In the state employees, C4 never went. And then the crisis came, the euro shot up, and sales fell completely. However, over the period from 2013 to 2016, when the car was updated, she had a lot of not only owners, but also fans. It turned out that things were really not as bad with her as one might think. The sedan is considered a compromise. Relatively low price for a very high quality car. Large, practical, and generally comfortable with a quality interior and good equipment. But it was not without nuances. It's a Citroën. Of the little things that can be put up with, it is worth noting the gentle paintwork, the stiff and, perhaps, noisy suspension, as well as the dislike of the Frenchman for our cold weather and fuel. However, the sedan has ailments and is more serious. For example, annoying failures of various sensors. So, if the failure of the antifreeze level sensor is only fraught with unnecessary opening of the hood to make sure that everything is in order, then the failure of the coolant temperature sensor on the thermostat provoked the engine, EP family, to fail to work. There was even a recall campaign on this occasion. There are more serious illnesses. The sedan was equipped with three 1.6 liter petrol engines with 116, 120 and 150 horsepower. The most powerful of them. 150 horsepower 1.6 TNR turbo engine, although it loves to sip fuel in city traffic jams, looks good in terms of dynamics. However, there are chain problems behind it. You need to keep an eye on and listen for the timing drive, which is what many C4 owners do. Noise, floating speed, twitching on a hot engine will tell you that it's time to change the chain, it has stretched. This motor, by the way, like the 120 horsepower one, was offered with an automatic transmission. And she also has questions. The weak link is the solenoid valves in the hydraulic unit. Their malfunction leads to jolts during switching, and then, completely going into emergency mode. Moreover, the malfunction does not depend much on the mileage. Mechanics recommend changing the oil in this box after 30 to 40,000 kilometers, although it is declared as maintenance-free. So the machine, alas, is not recommended. It's unpleasant to drive over bumps on the C4. Works hard and loud even in normal modes. But in the front suspension, there are often direct reasons for replacements. Most often, the front shock absorber supports are replaced, although under warranty the shock absorbers themselves and the stabilizer struts were changed a lot. However, since 2015, the upper shock absorber mounts have been treated. They got quieter. Talking about problems with corrosion simply does not turn the tongue. The car is still fresh, but the weakness of the paintwork is noted by many. Complain about the electrics, locks, and cracking glass. As is the case with many other cars. However, there are also positive reviews. Especially from those who manage to get along with the stiffer suspension. The indisputable advantages are a comfortable large interior and a roomy trunk, as well as high-quality plastic trim. However, when thinking about a used C4 sedan, you should still not discount the fact that this is still a Citroën, a complex and sometimes contradictory car. Suspension. 
Troubles with the front suspension, many owners solve with the help of components from DS. When choosing a car, try to catch the backlash and extraneous knocks. Rods and tips, ball bearings, and stabilizer struts average 35,000 kilometers, which is very little. If strong dives are noticeable during braking, the struts may even need to be replaced. Transmission. Exploring the forums, we stumbled upon negative things not only about the AKP. There are also questions about the mechanics, or rather, to insufficiently high-quality clutch discs. It is not uncommon for a car to start twitching when driving in traffic jams. This problem is solved by installing non-original, better discs. Engine. Repairing, say, a 116 horsepower engine after a broken timing belt and bent valves can be relatively budgetary. The list of components, valves, rings, liners, gaskets, valve stem seals and fluids, as a result can pull no more than 35 to 60,000 rubles. Plus work. So you should not be afraid of Citroen engines. Body. When looking for a reason to bargain when buying a C6, you should pay attention to the places where the door seals come into contact with the body, especially in the waistline of the tailgate. Often, due to too hard seals, paint was rubbed off on cars until 2015. Locks. Getting into C6 can be tricky, especially in winter, when the condensate inside the doors, freezing, does not allow the locks to work. The keyless algorithm here is more of a disadvantage than an advantage. It is far from always efficient, which can also be a reason to bargain. And also check how the trunk lock works. Yes, and he too. 